Now that you have all your parts and your pieces drawn, we are ready to start laying them out on our actual board. So I opened up a new SketchUp. I'm going to go to Camera, Parallel Projection, Camera, Standard Views, Top. My next piece is I have to draw with guidelines my board on SketchUp. So click on the red axis, bring it up, and this is 4 and 7 eighths tall by 11 7 eighths wide. Alright, 4 and 7 eighths by 11 7 eighths. Click on the rectangle tool, click on the origin, and click on my intersection. Oh, I actually did that wrong. So 4 and 7 eighths by 11 7 eighths, I don't need to draw a rectangle. File, import. Right here, this is probably going to say 3DS files. You're going to say, there's nothing to see. I need to go to SketchUp files, and I can bring in my parts. I will have to look on the website or on Schoology to see if I need duplicates of parts and what I need, where I need to place them. So this set, I do need a duplicate out, so I'm going to take the Move tool. If I tap the control key on the keyboard, I can get a duplicate. If I go onto these little red pluses, I can rotate this part if I'd like to. Now, if I'd like to conserve some space and I need to put these two together, I can grab right on this line and click right on this line. And now I have those two sitting right next to each other. So the laser will cut those out and they'll sit right next to each other, but they won't overlap. If I had them overlapping, we would have problems. That the laser would not would cut every line there, so it would wreck both pieces. So instead of showing you the whole layout, I'll give you the information from this point. Once you get all your pieces on here, all your duplicates, and you've checked and double checked that because you don't want to forget a piece out of your piece or out of your um, catapult, ballista, or jewelry tree, you're going to go edit. Delete guides to get rid of all the guidelines. Then you go File. Oh, and this is another important part. I want to be zoomed so I can see all of my pieces here. If I zoom in like this, only this will send to the laser what's on the screen. I want to have everything on there. So File, Export, 2D Graphic. And I need to make sure to name it correctly. Your hour, your login and then your part name. And I want to change this where it says JPEG image. I want to change this to say AutoCAD DXF file and hit export. It's still in my Tech 8 folder. And now it exported as a DXF. Now I can go into Schoology and I'd look for my Hours turn in bin. I'm going to have to hit the little pop out window and hit choose from computer and choose the ballista, the DXF file of it, and hit open. Upload, and now that's sent to the laser, and you're done.